what happens in society is that we're clouded by the noise, the noise of family expectations, the noise of our parents. I grew up in a family where you could either be a doctor, a lawyer, or a failure. Those were my three options. Anything else would just count me as a failure, right? I'm standing up here in front of you all as a failure. We focus so much on life in what we want to be, as opposed to who we want to be. We've always been told that life and jobs and careers are like boxes and containers. There's only a finite number of options. You can decide right now that I don't want to be defined by this box. I don't want to be defined by this container. I don't want to feel that if only I live in this container, then I'll be able to be successful. I'm not telling you to not work at a corporate. I think corporate experience is great. What I'm saying is don't lose this voice. Work till 6 p.m. every day, then go home and work on what you actually care about. Use your weekends to not be on Instagram and actually do what you care about. When you do that, you're investing in your meaning. You can be making enough money and make the switch. That's what's up for all of you who have a great degree, have a great education, you've got that job lined up. Use it. Just don't become a servant of that job. Don't just say, oh, I'm in prison now, I'm just going to use my weekends to hang out. If you do want to do that, that's cool too. If you say to me, Jay, actually, whatever you're saying, I don't even want that. I just want to hang out and have a good time. I don't even want meaning or purpose. That's cool with me too. But if you want to be happy and you want to be fulfilled and you want to have an impact on the world, then use your time wisely. I used to go home after my corporate job at 8 p.m. and edit till 1 a.m. on my own every day. So do your job, get a job if that's where you need to go with it. If you can't go all in, be safe, be secure. But then don't waste that time on, on not doing that and then complaining that you don't have what you want. This is the 30 minute rule. No matter how busy you are, how much you have to get done, how much you've got going on, it's so important to take out half an hour a day just for yourself. Go for a walk, learn something new, recharge, read a book, listen to something. Just take out time for yourself. No social media, no Netflix, no television, just you. See, if we don't understand how to be alone, we'll always end up feeling lonely. See, you're not being selfish. You need time for yourself to grow. Otherwise, how are you going to impact anyone else around you? People will probably forget what you said, possibly forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. See, we're all people who want experiences. We want adventure. We learn and our currency is that of emotion. Therefore, when we have an impact on someone, the experience that you give them, whether it's positive or negative, leaves an imprint on their mind visually, which then goes into their memory and lasts there as something that they can pull back upon. My suggestion is that you go around and give encouragement on a daily basis. It's a great habit to get into. People are so used to being surrounded by negativity and criticism and being told what they can't do. How about we went out and showed them what they can do? Have you ever seen someone successful or famous and thought, I could do that better than them? So what's the difference? Why is it that they're out there achieving their goal while you're not able to? See, people underestimate the value of volume, the potential behind how many doors are you ready to knock on? How many tweets are you willing to send? How many people are you willing to ask for help and ask for their guidance and steers? We hardly achieve anything the first time we try. The people that have made it, it's on their 10th, 20th, 100th, sometimes 1,000th attempt. So don't underestimate the power of volume. Don't underestimate what's possible when you go out there and speak to everyone that you know.